Hey everyone, it's Chris here. I'm just out doing a final hike for 2019. Just a short little one on the Eastern Sherbrooke Circuit Walk, which is in the Dandenong Ranges National Park. Just a beautiful spot out here. I've been really fortunate this year to do a bunch of really awesome hikes throughout the year. So we'll just have a quick look back on those. To round out the year, I thought I'd take a look back at what has been a very enjoyable year for me in terms of all the hiking activity that I've done. And I thought this would be a good chance just to look back on all those hikes and provide a whole bunch of links in this video back to the hikes and other activities that I've done throughout 2019. So you guys can link to them all from here. So at the beginning of the year, I started out doing the overland track, went down to Tasmania to do that. That was a walk that I'd been wanting to do for many years and uh, then finally had the chance to do that. So that was a, in summer, uh, it turned out to be a really wet and cold week down there. It was raining pretty much the whole week and we even got snow on a couple of the days there as well. But just a fantastic hike, I'm so glad I went down to do that. I've actually got a series on my channel here about that so you can have a look through that series. I'll link to that below. Then in the beginning of winter, I went to Western Victoria and I did just an overnight hike called the Baritmo Walk. That was just a weekend hike over about 21 kilometers and just a really nice little circuit track. I did that as a solo hike and just a good experience to go out and do a, a solo overnight hike. So that was a really nice little uh, weekend hike out there. Following that, I did another winter hike up in the Grampians, which was the Grampians Peaks Trail. Uh, it was the first open section of that, which was about 36 k's. That's gonna turn into a much longer trail once it opens at the end of 2020. That was uh, a really nice walk throughout Grampians National Park and just, yeah, amazing scenery up there. Following that, I went back to Wilson's Promontory and did the Eastern Circuit hike out there after having done that previously in 2018. It was great to go back there again and have the opportunity to sort of do that hike again. Really nice one to do. Following that, shortly afterwards, my wife and I then went to New Zealand and mainly just a driving holiday on the South Island, but we had a chance to do some really nice little hikes there, just day hikes. We did a section of the Kepler track, which is down in Tianao, just down in, in the southwest corner of the island. We just did the last section of that, which was about 10 kilometers. A uh, really nice sort of forest walk through there. And then the other one that we did over there was the Ben Lomond track, which is in Queenstown. And that's a big hike up a mountain onto the top of Ben Lomond, which runs straight out of the township of Queenstown. And uh, yeah, that was a really good one to do as well. And then got back from New Zealand and had one final multi-day hike for the year, which was the Falls to Hotham Alpine Crossing, which I did just a few weeks ago. Uh, and that was just brilliant to go up and see the high country and uh, do a three-day hike through there. Just an amazing part of Victoria and uh, as I said on that video recommend going to that in between that Did a bunch of really cool little day hikes I'll put links to all of the multi-day hikes and those other day hikes that I've filmed down below so you guys can link to them all from here and Go and check out those ones if you haven't seen them already I'm just in the process at the moment of planning out all of my hikes for 2020 so I'll bring you guys details of all of those in one of the upcoming videos very soon. So really excited about the next year and uh, all the upcoming hikes for the new year. In terms of my gear this year, I've gradually just been sort of tweaking my setup. You know, I've had a few gear changes throughout the year and you know, I'm just continuing to do that and evolve that uh, just as I sort of go out and do more hikes and change out the gear that I'm using. I'll continue doing gear review videos next year 
and go through changes to my gear setup as new pieces of gear come into my setup. So I'll uh, just take you through those as they happen. Next year, I also want to do some more tips and tricks videos. So if you guys want to see a particular topic covered or you've got any particular questions, just leave a comment down below. Finally, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been following along on my channel this year. I obviously just got this launched earlier in the year in April and it's been a lot of fun bringing the videos to you guys uh, and obviously being out there hiking of course. So I want to say a big thanks to you guys. Thanks to people who have also dropped in to watch any particular videos along the way. And if this is the first time to my channel for you, have a look around, see if you find anything of interest here. And if you want to follow along, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications of any new videos that come out, hit the little bell symbol as well. So you'll see each time a new one gets released. So thanks again for watching. I hope you all have a great year coming up in 2020. Happy hiking. And I look forward to seeing you guys out on the trail next year.